Well, there you have it. Lots of us are moments turned sweet by that guy on your screen right there, Mickey, over the years. Come on, get, get, get Mickey. Get back there. There we go. All right. There. Got the camera on you for a reason, man. This guy is so good on the D.Va. Recently kind of showing us a lot of great play on the Roadhog. And Arisa. And the Arisa, too. But the D.Va always going to be what Mickey's known for. And, you know, showing it on that uh, clip versus Shanghai. Showing it here today, too. I'm really impressed with his growth on the Roadhog overall. It really has helped the really Dallas Fuel yeah, diversify a lot of their strategies. So that's been fun to see. Uh, and... I was particularly impressed with that play that we just saw because it really was a huge deal at the play that turned that match in favor of the Dallas Fuel. Yeah. So I think it was probably Mickey's best day so far this season. For sure. Well, subs coming in. Rascal subbing in for AKM. Another recent addition for Dallas Fuel. Rascal coming over from London Spitfire. Great addition there. And Asher coming in for Gladiators. We already know this guy is good. Yeah, we do. And, of course, Lee Chang Tower, a map that will favor the Tracer as a control map, generally True. speaking. And I'm curious what the result of Rascal will be here. Maybe, probably, and by maybe, I mean probably coming in for the Genji play. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Looks like a likely dive composition with Effect and Rascal both in the lineup. Oh. And that, that's an important weapon that the Dallas Fuel has now that they really lacked before. Yeah, well, I mean, Rascal brings a lot to this team. He brings the Genji, he brings the Mei, he brings the Doomfist even, and he brings the Sombra, which is yep. actually a, uh, a Sombra style that I feel like we don't see a lot of in the league. His Sombra tends to be very aggressive, much more of a DPS hero Sombra than a lot of the sneaky, you know, I'm gonna do a little bit of damage, translocate, build my EMP and use that bot kind of Sombra. Yeah, and we've already seen that on Route 66. One yeah. thing to note about the Dallas Fuel is that they have an entirely different map pool than the maps that they played earlier this week. So they will be playing all eight maps in their first week of competition. Meanwhile, Gladiators, after halftime, we will be heading into maps that we've seen them play already. So a little bit more information okay. on the Gladiator strategies, but Dallas Fuel having to practice more maps for this first week of stage two. Yet another reason why uh, this match is very difficult to call going into it. Map one looked pretty good for Dallas, though. That was a fairly one-sided defensive round for them, I would say. Couple ticks for Gladiators, I suppose, but it just seemed like when it came down to how each of these teams coordinated with their Winston specifically, Dallas definitely had the edge despite Fisher being really good individually. Yeah, Gladiators here on Night Market going to be heading back to the dive composition. That's right. Here we go. Same with the Dallas Fuel, so we will be seeing compositional mirrors for our first point here. That's right, and Rascal on that Genji right away, just like uh, we were expecting here. Coming in, Big Goose gets booped off by Harry Hook. Whoops! That's a rough start for the Gladiators, and Dallas gonna jump right on him. There goes Shaz. No more support for Gladiators, and it is a pretty disastrous start. Dallas should be able to get this control percent going first. So the reason why Dallas was so aggressive in taking the point in this mirror composition is because they didn't see Asher. Asher was actually on the other side of the map trying to flank around. Dallas Fuel just kept pushing Los Angeles Gladiators further and further out of the point. Wow. And had that opportunity with the boop. Uh, there we go. Onto, uh, onto Big Goose, so took advantage of it, then cleaned it up, so... Whoa. The may have gone a bit too deep, however. <laughs> just, gets, just gets run right over by Big Goose after taking a big right click from Zenyatta there. Asher manages the D-Mech Mickey as well, and I think Dallas may have to give this one right back over unless uh, Rascal can pull out some heroics, but... We'll see how long he can delay. Can he wait for the response to come back? Shaz uh -oh. does go down, effect helping out. Rascal gets out, gets back to the health pack, but no, Gladiators will flip it. They'll get their control percent going. Oh, without one of their supports, so Asher heading back right now to Shaz, and they're gonna push them out. So it will be a slight advantage here as the Dallas Fuel will regroup and respawn a hair faster. They're gonna try and use it. Yeah, XQC popping that primal rage. Hydration gets cut down by Rascal on the Genji as well. Custa falls, Fissure striking back for the Gladiators. It's one for one right now. And here comes the Transcendent. Zen all use, they use the sound barrier as well. Kind of layering that one a little bit on the Gladiator side, but it does help them pick up that kill on XQC. So in the end, they do force them to fall back. But I think if you're Dallas about to come up on both of your support ultimates, yes. you're pretty happy you got those two out of Absolutely. Uh, the Absolutely. You just want to reset at that point. Yeah. You realize that you traded a Dragon Blade for a Sound Barrier and a Trance. You're like, pretty all sick. right, just throw yourself off the map. Let's stagger our ults coming in. We'll use the Transcendence on our attack. 
and let's hold the sound barrier for when they attack next time, and we're gonna get a lot of control percent that way. You'd imagine that's gonna be the plan. Hydration from behind, though. Gotta be careful there. Harry Hook has to get to that transcendence. Yep, they get to him. Custer comes back to support him a bit. Now, Effect chasing away the Genji as they dive onto the point here. Harry Hook still has that sound barrier to use. Hydration, gonna see if he can. Oh, they just flip it. What? All right, Dallas just gets on there, takes the point. Gladiator's a little bit out of position. Oh, Bishu. Big self destruct from that Diva. And the Gladiator's a chance to flip this one right back again, maybe. We'll see if they can do it. Sound barrier for Dallas. That's what they were saving it for. But Hydration with the Dragon Blade to kill on the Harry Hook right away. And yep, Gladiators will take the point again. And that sound barrier at the end. So it was only on the three people. Now take a look at that self-destruct. <laughs> Just getting caught out in the courtyard. The opposite side effect had the pulse bomb stuck on there, but got the kill on the Bishu after he had already done the damage with the Diva ult. A little bit of cleanup there at the end. Well, Fissure uses that Primal Rage despite a few members of the Dallas already being down, but Gladiators just want to push them back to spawn right now, man. In fact, gets the kill into Asher, but what Gladiators want to do is try to stall this attack, get themselves at least to 99%, which it looks like they will. Dallas coming in, trying to flip this point back. Gladiators need to get on there. They are now. Big Goose getting very close. Oh, he died right as he got his sound barrier. Shaz falling as well. That is rough for the Gladiators. Dallas crushing that fight. Man, you saw Big Goose just trying to jump through that window to get away right as his sound barrier came up and he couldn't survive. That's a, that's a heartbreaking fight there, but the Gladiators have some ults to come back at this one with. I mean, this has been a weird point, Doa. The yeah, Gladiators yeah, yeah. are not playing the point, and the Dallas Fuel's ult economy has not been spectacular. All right, the Pulse Bomb stuck to the wall. You don't want to get kills on that. Doesn't help you too much. Transcendence for Dallas as they fight out in the courtyard now. The Gladiators drop the sound barrier. Time to get onto the point for them. Rascal Low taken out while his Dragon Blade was up, but the rest of his team not doing uh, really any better, actually. Fissure with three in that fight. And that's just gonna be another take back. It has been so back and forth, but it looks like the Gladiators may have this one. Yep, Dallas can't get to it. That's one point here on Lijang Tower for the LA Gladiators. XQC did his all to get back in. Used the jump, Primal Rage into another jump, cooldown reset, and just couldn't barely get through the door onto the point, so. Yeah. Gladiators will take the first one. They have a couple of support ultimates, especially that sound barrier. Rascal, as a result, didn't have an opportunity to really pull his Dragon Blade, and uh, it was some nice ult sequencing there from the Gladiators to get back onto the point and take that one home. Yeah. And here's where, if you're the Gladiators, you're feeling a lot more comfortable, right? Because here's where Fissure can excel as that big individual playmaker, and you don't need to rely on the coordination quite as much as you do on some of the other map types. So control, you know, maybe a little bit better for Gladiators, given the circumstances. And here's a little bit of an interesting composition. Mickey on the Zarya, something we don't see very often affect the primary Zarya player on the Dallas Fuel, but he's gonna be needed for the McCree and Rascal. We'll be on the Junkrat, so got to step back on the Moira. He was one of the earliest adopters. XQC on that Reinhardt as well. A little bit of a different pick for him than the usual Winston. Dallas going to try to just slow push their way onto this one. A lot of poking coming in, and with that Coalescence building, it could be big. And Mickey getting a little bit charged up here. They've got positioning here, but they haven't been able to quite get any kills on the Gladiators quite yet. I mean, it's very hard it sure to play is. the dive Ooh. into this McCree on the back line, and especially when he has as much protection as he does. So Dallas Fuel working there their way go. up to some ultimates right now, and Dynoon already there. Uh -oh. Asher will shut it down. More like Dynoon. Asher finds a kill onto effect there, but the Dallas Fuel still nearly taking the point here. Can they finish off Hydration? That would be pretty big if they can. No, he gets Rascal. That's huge. Rascal out of the way. Now that's a lot less damage for Dallas. Mickey all charged up, though. 100 charge with this Zarya, but they still oh, haven't taken the, the point. Now they probably can. Yeah, there we go. Dallas finally getting their control percent going, but man, they had to fight for that one in Gladiators, getting 22%. Yeah, Gladiators sneaking some percent in that fight. Dallas yeah. still took such a long time rotating around the point. They went all the way around, trying to stay as a death ball with the help of Kassa on the Moira, giving them those heals. Rascal will be coming up on a Rip tire right now. 
Yeah, so now you want to combo that uh, that Graviton Surge, right? With the Coalescence, with the Rip Tire, maybe. See if Mickey can get a good one. Gotta watch out for Vishu's Defense Matrix. You don't want to get that ult. Coming in now, Sound Barrier U is bigger. Shatter from XQC. Slows everybody down. That's gonna negate a lot of that Sound Barrier. Oh, Vishu taking out there. So, okay, yeah, that's the, that's the Graviton Surge they were looking for. Area gets a couple with the right click somehow. Hydration, last second, Dragon Blade coming in, and maybe, just maybe, yeah, I think they might be able to, no, I don't know, Transcendence? Hydration falls, Shaz a little bit late on that one to save his Genji. The respawns are back, but I think you may just need to regroup if you're the I mean, Gladiators. Yeah, you do. Rascal's right here once again, has that Rip Tire. You've got no ults if you're the Gladiators. And right. be very concerned about getting picked off. When you talk about alt usage, it's a bit messy there for the Gladiators. That Transcendence a little bit late to the party. Hydration, maybe that uh, Genji Blade not to advise. Rascal just gets an easy one onto Shaz there. That feels good if you're the Junkrat player. Effect with the Deadeye zoning people out. Gets a kill onto Hydration as he flies through the air. I XQC charged to pick yes. off Asher on the Tracer at the very start of that fight. So, see a lot of great that. charge for XQC. Yeah. Earns them a DPS advantage. 90% now for Dallas Fuel. They're trying to grab. hold the spawn door here. I mean, how are you going to get through this Jor? Asher's going to try and back cap it right now, but the, the Shatter and the grab in the doorway are deadly. All right, they got to do something about Asher, though. Rascal gets two with the Rip Tire. Now they gotta handle the Tracer. They've already won the fight at the door. Just gotta take up Bishu and the Tracer as well. Asher falls. Here comes the self-destruct. Not a big concern for the Dallas Fuel. They will take Control Tower. We are gonna go to the third point here on Li Zhang Tower. I like the patience of the Fuel. They didn't yeah. immediately react to Asher on the back cap. They sent the Moira back. Needed to control the choke point first and foremost with the Graviton Surge and the Earth Shatter. Succeeded in getting the kills they needed. Then go back, make sure you clean it up afterwards. So, right. good communication from the Fuel and Gladiators. They did basically the only thing they could do. That is a good call by them. You have to force the back cap because you know they have the, all the crowd control oh, yeah, choke sure. point. I feel like now, I, I just want to see a little bit more patience from the Gladiators, right? I mean, as far as the alt usage goes, it seemed like there was a bit of, uh, you know, franticness to the way they were playing that point that they, I don't think they necessarily needed to feel. Yeah, I, that last push accepted, I do agree with you. Yeah. And we are going to see hydration on the far right now as Dallas Fuel Resort re reverts to the Genji Tracer. That's right. Dallas on the point early. They're going to try to take the defensive posture here in this early fight. That's Hydration. Rascal goes down. Shaz gets one. Hydration, not a lot touching this guy up in the air. Oh, and they are going to feel it. Big damage coming in from the Gladiators. Dallas trying to sneak this one, but Custa, the lone Zenyatta. Ooh, maybe with Actually, a couple of health. Actually, this fight gets turned around. In fact, he's going to demech Bishu, and Rascal and XQZ are coming back in. That is crazy, man. It was looking so good for the Gladiators. The Rascal, they're trying to turn it around. Dallas manages to claim the point first. That was... What a turnaround. That was such a crazy turnaround. Costa was on that point the entire time yeah. and started the process of building the control percentage. But the response from XQC and Rascal coming back right at the perfect moment based on the point unlocking to actually take the fight back to the Gladiators. You know, with that Farah, yeah, you can do a lot of damage, but you just can't get in there and take the point yourself. So, well, what are you trying? having to watch that one. Yeah, so. exactly. Rascal down, Hydration with an early kill there. Both DPS, Both DPS back very out. nice. Oh, and that's going to just be a boot from Hydration to take down Mickey. Barrage coming in to clean this one up, and I think that's going to be Gladiators getting some control percent building. That was uh, some nice patience for the Gladiators. They, they know the dive has to come in, so they limit the options from the fuel by playing further back and waiting for Hydration to land those rockets. And it could be tough to actually take the point using a fair composition like this, so props to the Gladiators for making that one work so smoothly. Big use with the sound barrier. Once Dallas comes in for a little bit of defense, Transcendence used on the Dallas side. As they're going to try to push this attack, Transcendence coming out for Shaz on the Gladiators as well. They're going to try to scatter Dallas. They do that. Oh, that boop on the Harry Hook. That's a big one. Effect taking him out. Or Effect getting Shaz, rather. Supports dropping on each side. Rascal down to just two health, but he comes back up. The healing incoming right now. There's a Reflect for some Rockets, but it doesn't help Rascal. He goes down anyway. 
XQC with a kill on the Bishu. But can they turn this into a point take? I don't know. Hydration more or less untouched here in his Mickey Falls. That's going to be the Gladiators holding. There has to be a different solution, and that solution is Rastal the Soldier go. 76. They overplayed their hand in that scenario. Harry Hook's death was crucial for the Gladiators, preventing the sound barrier from going off. But now all this time that Dallas use trying to find the good Dragon Blade is right. not going to be very useful, but that is not a poop that's going to result in kills. Uh, sound barrier coming in as Dallas tries to retake this one. They're getting a lot of percent going. Gladiators desperate to get back onto the point and stall this one out a bit more. Hydration needs a big barrage here, but they know where he is trying to come to the window. Has he become Death Incarnate? No, not quite. Rascal takes him out. That's going to be Dallas with a few more kills, and they will get the point back again. He may not be Death Incarnate, but he is dead, dead Incarnate. <laughs> yeah, After right. trying to pop that barrage, <laughs> he may be looking for another hero swap as well. Yeah, that, that's what it meant. Tried to go for the Hail Mary when it didn't work. Oh, why not? Already was planning to switch to Genji anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Rascal looking for some targets for his TAC Visor. I love that stat that popped out just a little bit ago. Harry Hook getting uh, three boots on the Big Goose already this, uh, this map. Gladiators trying to come in. Tacta or Transcendence is used on both sides. Asher with that Pulse Bomb waiting up that Zenyatta ultimate. Throws it in. Did he get anybody with it? No, not quite. XQC with a kill on Shazzo on the other side. Big Harry Goose. Hook pooped by Big Goose. The More reverse comes another. true. Yeah. More poops for the Boop God. <laughs> yeah, it does come true. And that is going to be Rascal holding on. All right, use the Tac Visor. So it's only Mickey now with the self destruct. Big Goose retains the sound barrier, but they have to get across this bridge against this soldier, so they, I think they need to go the other way. They just they gotta will. go now, any way they can, man. Sound barrier comes in, we're into OT. Dallas at 99%. In fact, fighting for his life here, he's a bit low. Oh, Rasko with a kill on the hydration, that could be big. Big Goose falls as well, but Big Goose himself coming back with a double boop on the Harry Hook and Rasko. Can the rest of his team turn this one around? I think maybe they can. The environmental elimination has been crazy so far in this game. I think we're up to like almost eight environmental eliminations here. At least. There have been a lot from Dude. these two longtime Lucio players, and you're seeing how much fun it is for this hero to be back into the meta right now. Oh, yeah. It was the Gladiators having to sprint. Now it's the Fuel's turn as they make their way across the bridge and back onto the points. That's right, Gladiators getting close to 99% themselves. Asher falls early on. Mickey dives in, crushes Big Goose with that charge. Here comes the Dragon Blade right into the Transcendence. Double Swirls, oh, Big Goose! Another big boot coming in. Goodbye, Custa on that Transcendence. And the Gladiators, can they carry this through to a team fight win? XQC on his own. Own. Fisher gets a kill there. OT ticking away now. Dallas Fuel couldn't take the point back, but Rascal coming in. Harry Hook down. Gladiators just grinding this one out. And it looks like if they can finish off the fact, they're going to be able to take it. They, oh, they nearly do. He can't hold this forever. He can't stall forever. Gladiators will take Li Zhang Tower. Clutch plays, thy name is Big Goose. No, he yeah. killed two on the desperation attack at 99%, and then booped Costa on the transcendence off to prevent the Dallas fuel from retaking. Dallas had so many advantages. They had both support ults coming into the last engagement, and Big Goose shut it down. Wow, that was uh, like a, a dream round for Lucio players out there. You You'll have to see environmental kills. Oh, man, that was probably more in one round than we've seen in a lot of total matches this season. Uh, there were nine between the Lucio players in that last round alone. That is pure insanity. Well, tied up. 1-1 Dallas Fuel versus LA Gladiators. We're going to go to halftime in just a minute here. See who takes the lead in map three. Don't go anywhere. This is the Overwatch League. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile, America's best unlimited network. Omened by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. And by Intel, the official computer processor of the Overwatch League.